For this project I'm going to be taking this rusty saw and turning it into a workshop sign for Mano Mano. I'll leave a link in the description to their site. Mano Mano enjoy my videos and asked me if I could make them something to put in the workshop, something that had my logo on, something that could be displayed. So I thought to myself I'll try something new. First I needed to prep the saw, I wanted to keep the old rustic look but the handle needed cleaning up a bit with some sandpaper. I then used some teak stain to make it darker. The plan is to add a vinyl template so I needed to lock in the rust so the vinyl would stick better. I did this with just one coat of spray lacquer. With that drawing, I could get the vinyl cutter to cut out Mano Mano's logo and my logo. The cutter makes quick work of cutting out the stencils, but weeding out still takes ages. I added transfer tape over the top so I can transfer the stencils to the saw. The vinyl still didn't stick as well as I'd hoped, I think it's because of the uneven surface of the rusty saw. On one side I swapped the order of the logos around so they can have a choice of how they want to display it. I covered the rest of the saw to protect it while sandblasting. I've been doing quite a lot of sandblasting recently, but only to etch glass, never to remove rust. The little air eraser and compressor I had did work, but it was very slow going. I thought it was time for an upgrade. I got a large compressor which made things go a lot quicker too. However, I wasn't happy with how my camera was getting bombarded with aluminium oxide grit. So I went and got a sandblasting cabinet to cut down on mess and damage to my camera. It worked a lot better than I expected and made the process really enjoyable. I thought the to and from above the logos needed to be more subtle than the logos themselves, so I coloured them in with some black permanent marker. The rust gave a physical edge to the letters which made it really easy to stay in the lines. The saw didn't have a hole on the end like most saws do, so I added one to make it easy to hang up. To finish it off, I gave it two more coats of spray lacquer. I hope Mano Mano like it, this technique works really well and I think these saw signs would make great gifts. I've seen them painted before but I like the idea of removing the rust to reveal the original saw beneath. Here are some more videos of mine you might be interested in, don't forget to get subscribed to if you aren't already and click for notifications so you don't miss my next video. Thank you all for watching.